So listen, I'm going to be the outlier, and I uh, I, please do. I I so just objectively looking at this, and objectively looking at the game and Mm -hmm. the Arizona game. Granted, it was his um, first start, but Mm -hmm. he scored three points in the first half of both games. Both games can't do that. Right? You're gonna lose. Yep. Well, here's the thing, and Arizona is a lot closer on defense to the Rams yes. than Houston, right? Houston yes. is a dumpster fire when it comes to talent on offense, yes. a defense and on offense, correct? Yes. Great, great oper- great learning experience. I have no doubt in my mind. Once he gets a few more games underneath him, we're going to see the potential. It's going to work. But can I just have isn't... a quick retort, real quick, because it's a great point. Yes. And I want to address it before you move on. I think it's more of a total team issue than a Trey issue because I actually thought he did some good things in both first halves. I just think what you're seeing is Trey, but also Kyle in the offense is sort of figuring out what works with him. And that's to be expected. They haven't worked together that much. And that's, it's the same point, but instead of just putting it hundred percent on Trey, it's a, it's a team thing. No, yeah. no I, I, that's yeah. the second point. Like, for example, it's not coincidental that, uh, Ayuk started playing a lot better, right, and got right. more targets. Kittle Time only got time. two or three targets. Again, yes. Jimmy's really comfortable almost to a default going to Kittle because yeah. that's his best throw down the middle, and that's where Kittle generally operates. Right. That's what the offense is geared towards right now. Even the offensive linemen, they're used to blocking for about two seconds, and the ball's out of their hand, right? One way, yeah. Jimmy's hand one way or the other. They're not. Yeah. They're yeah. not with Trey, which – Again, if you want to make the playoffs, and I am a big proponent being 36 year old and watching the dumpster fire that has been my organization so for the last 20 that. plus I'm years. I'm pro playoffs. I'm I pro making to. the playoffs. I, why? Why is that such a bad thing? That I we you can't say that in 2022, like, Karan. I'm sorry. I'm, again, playoffs, why? Can't say that. Why? Why is this such a bad thing when we haven't been there in what seven, eight years? Like maybe once. I mean, we're no better than the Cleveland Browns, uh, the Washington Redskins. Uh, you know, Houston has had more playoff wins than we have. Again, collectively, guys, I think you need to. Also, start I think Kyle is in the same way. Like, I can't have four seasons no. out no. of five to make missing the no. playoffs. That's a bad look. So yeah, I think and, he's pro playoffs too. And and then last thing for Jimmy, think about this narrative and think about how good it is for Jimmy. If he plays and wins, he's in, right? He's a winner, yeah. right? Yep. Narrative, right? And then, you know, to me, get your popcorn ready. N- you know, T.O. quote, Brady versus Jimmy playoffs. If that can actually happen. Can we come back to reality for a second? I love it. Can we come back to reality for a second? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I, I thought you froze. You just actually. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. What did you think about my stat that I put out earlier about Jimmy playing without practicing that week? What do you think? That doesn't concern you? I uh, well, I'll go back to the other stat that Kyle has put twenty three players on questionable, and all like twenty two or twenty one of them have played. So questionable means nothing to me because the majority of them play. Fair, that's fair. But again, this is Jimmy, and uh-huh. Jimmy has a history. The team knows it. We know it. He hasn't done this very much. Aaron yeah. Rodgers doesn't need to practice. Trent Williams doesn't need to practice. Jimmy yeah. may because the two times he started when he didn't practice, it's been bad. They've lost both times. He's been awful. Awful. I completely agree. I, but here's the other piece of it. Jimmy has a lot to lose because if Jimmy doesn't play, he's done as a starter or he's going to go to a dumpster fire organization and not be anything what he was. If he plays, even if he plays halfway decent, he has some control of where he can go. If he doesn't, and don't think that that hasn't crossed his mind and the organization's mind. What if he plays? What if he plays like he played in Miami last against Miami last year? Goes seven for seventeen in the first half, throws two picks and gets yanked at halftime. Isn't that worse than saying, "Hey, man, I was super tough this week and I tried, but I just couldn't do it because it's my thumb is hanging by a thread, but I tried." Absolutely, I I, I, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I agree. But right now, the narrative is going to be. The guy's always hurt. The team yep. needed him the most. He couldn't. That's come why he's doing what? this right now. That's why he's throwing in front of the media. Look, I'm look at how tough I am. And did I mention how much it hurts? Because it does. I'm very tough. And if you don't <laughs> again, believe me, you ask me. Again, he he knows his. He's done. He's done as a yeah. niner. First yeah. thing. This, this is his. It's swap all about zone. his value to the next team. Yes. Right, and he, he ha- and that's why I think he's pushing to. And here's the other thing. 
it's very apparent that Kyle has spent maybe what 45 minutes on developing an offense around Trey Lance. You know, and again, I don't think he really, really truly knows his strengths and weaknesses. He put again, it off. He put it he, off. Kyle, Kyle put all his eggs in Jimmy. That's not on. That's not on Trey. But you know, you can't expect Trey he acquired the project and was like, "Yeah, that's going to be a lot of work." Ah, uh, next year. Next year. Next correct. Year. Like thanks, next year. year. Thanks, coach. I don't think Kyle even knows how to use him in the run game because, again, he doesn't look very no comfortable. Clue. No clue. He no looks like clue. he's more comfortable breaking it off like Josh Allen, broken plays running. That's not the best designed. argument not to start Trey is that Kyle doesn't hasn't really put enough thought into this. But, again, what I'm saying is I'm not sure that either quarterback brings this, this win home in. If Jimmy were 100% healthy and he took all the reps in practice, yeah, by all means, play him against the Rams. He owns the Rams, but that's not the case. So I'm not sure that that, it's deci- that there's a decision that leads to a win here. It might be more to, about whether Jimmy Ward plays. No, to tell you the truth, I have more confidence than the Saints losing to the Atlanta Falcons than I actually do than the the Rams, you know, the 49ers beating the Rams because I feel like Atlanta has somewhat of an offense and I've watched the Saints the last 3 or 4 weeks. They're they're terrible. They have a very good defense, but they can't they have a quarterback who can run a little bit. But he's more limited than Trey is, and they've got nobody. And Atlanta's getting some of their players back, and it's a rivalry game. So I wouldn't be surprised if all three, Philadelphia, the 49ers, for Niner fans. and the Saints, all of them lose. All of what them a weird and the feeling Niners that would be for in. Niner fans if, if they lose, and then and then the Saints lose too, and they're like, oh, well, yay. <laughs> anyway, I got to take happen. a couple more calls. Great, great to see you, man.